hi guys and welcome back to episode 5 after we have smudged like after we have created our artificial eyebrow then we are going to smudge out the rough part of the face i mean the skin of every part to make it smooth and clean with your 10 percent opacity don't use 30 percent opacity unless you are going to spoil your job now keep smudging I mean the rough fat side can you see what I'm doing continue to do that then you do and continue to do like what I'm doing right now to make your work look neat and okay can you see and they are going to proceed to the next step and if this is your first time of coming to my youtube channel please subscribe like press the like button and please subscribe and press the notification bell that anytime i upload video next time that youtube should give you a notification because i'm still going to upload more amazing videos that's going to blow your mind so just please subscribe for the first time now i delete every layer and match everything on a new layer now our next step is color balancing so we are going to color balance our work every work together by dragging the blue side no and let me tell you one thing you color balance to your satisfaction there is no fixed color balance because every image are different now if you use like my fixed color balance here for another picture then you can go wrong like get a rough you know painting like it can you know make the color look weird or not so there is no color there is no fixed color balance all what you just need to do is drag the blue to the left side and keep checking your work to see how amazing it is and drag till you get your final one that you want so you just need to color make sure you color balance your work to make it look you know to make it look more tone the reason why we use color balance is to make it look more tone so now i'm going to smudge the lips now i'm still on the 10 percent opacity choose your smudge brush and smudge the lips make sure the lips is smooth and just smudge the lips to your you know to your satisfaction and feel free even if you don't smudge the, you know the highlighting part of the lips you can leave it like that you know but just make sure you make the lips look more attractive like what you can see like what i'm doing right now so now can you see this is note this is the final episode for the episode one two three four that are that we have the four so another new video will come out so our next step is we're going to choose our dodge tool and with this the opacity to our satisfaction and we're going to you know start dodging the shadow part to bring out the shadow part to make the picture look real and look more amazing like you know the shadow part of the face the neck you know where necessary we need to put it then we are going to put the dodge to the like after we are through with the adult then we go for the early light this is the shadow part to make the work come out to look more real and make sure your opacity is low because if your opacity is high then you see what i'm saying you see what i'm talking about then your work will look like masquerade you know something like you know to be too dark for it now just dodge little and don't dodge too much don't dodge inside you know like you know many times because it will look more darker so you just need to dodge it once and go away from there so like what you see that i'm doing to make it look real to make it come out well because can you see what i'm doing now right now do you see now our next step is choosing the highlights so let's your highlights also be in lower opacity like low it very well unless it will be too light too sharp so we need to highlight the main part like the nose the whitish part of the face so that is what we are going to do first of all make a dot you know part, tiny particle dot like you know to make it look real like an amazing to make it glow out so choose the white side of it and make sure you are low opacity or if you can use the 50 percent opacity it's normal but just try it and also drag down to see how it will look real you can understand so like what i'm doing right now i'm really highlighting you know the necessary part of it to make it come out well so do you see 
and I'm saving my work now because Photoshop CS is do crack at times, like it's do crash. So that's why I like, can bring an error off and it can corrupt. You know, you're just your 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 day work, something like that. That's why I'm duplicating my work. So I'm still on the highlights, giving the highlights like you know, to make it look cool. Whenever you are giving your highlights, make sure you check. So I'm still giving the dot part first. See? So make it come out well. That is why you know, I got many comments like your work is you know in high resolution, always in high quality. It's not always in high quality, it's just I save it normal as people save it. But my secret is my highlight and my dodge too. I mean my shadow part place, my shadow part, they are always amazing. That's why it's always look as if I bring out high quality you know image. So you reduce the opacity of the brush like opacity of the you know highlights and also you know increase the brush size and highlight you know big just like what you're seeing on the pic on the video so reduce the opacity then you can do more or increase the opacity to bring out the highlight just make sure that your highlight is well placed the one number one thing that always destroys image is the color balancing the highlight and the shadow the dodge tool if you don't know how to use it in the right place i'm telling you that your work will look weird because when you use it wrongly or too much then it will look what weird what i'm trying to say is that when you so much normal you can see that our skin is you know the skin color looks glow a little that is when you can use a, a much highlight but when you see that your skin color is normal like does not glow you just use a little highlight one of my friend once asked such questions like why is your highlight always much and some like this is always low something like that but i my question as in my answer for my friend is that once you have a glowy skin then you can use normal highlights but once you have a normal skin then you can use normal highlights so i'm going to create another new layer right now like i'm picking the white color and I'm doing that for the lady hair right now I'm using a blue color but can see that this is not really really cool why because it looks odd to me so I'm going to change the color to color green to make it come out well to make it different like look amazing can you see make sure you change the layer option to color before you paint and paint well like i like i always say don't be scared to you know paint out because you have your soft laser brush to clean so you clean something like this then you paint and paint and paint now i really want to give the boomer putting the baby this type of color thing for her hair band too so i'm going to color it green sorry sorry that i'm calling this woman woman her name is t boss you know she's a star popular known you can search official t boss on instagram then you get her that's her so and you can see now that it looks really really amazing like what i posted on my facebook and everywhere you might find this picture so it's look real now next thing now is i'm going to duplicate everything on the new layer then i'm going to give it the background the next thing is background look at how cool and beautiful it is there is no magic there everything is just process by process once you follow the process the right process so it's cool and easy so and for all the skin color too i always get a question for that you watch my next video i'm going to talk about the color codes like some color codes that you can you know put in your mind for the skin color code something like that so i'm going to place a background like the next thing that spoils our work is choosing a wrong background now you need to learn how to choose the right background for your paintings like when you have a sharp image then you have to place a dull background to it to make your work come out and when, once you have a dull painting then you need a sharp background you know to make the work also come out a dull background with a dull painting will never work well that's it now we are having a glowing a sharp you know 
painting now we need to put a dull a cool dull background to make our work really really come out where just like what you see can you see it's a dull cool background and it's really really make sense so some we just choose a whiter background like a shiny one and it will make every everything just look ah, what's this so, can you see now this is how to make a cool background and this is normal you can also save your work like this but i have my own style and in my style i use splatter design so right now i'm going to save my work like duplicate then i'm going to use my splatter design right now like what you see all my posts on facebook on instagram or anywhere you might come across it and i am also of interest at sewagraph that is where you can see my work like if you really want to download my work you know just follow me on pinterest so well search sewa graphic then i have so many work amazing work on pinterest then you really like it there it's sharp and clear and cool in fact this painting you're seeing right now is there so now let's proceed to the background so i'm going to pick my brush my splatter design brush and which is on the description link of episode one and if you use yours you like ah, this is different from my own splatter brush why it's the same splatter brush i use it's just that i customize it again like i take a white background i splash on it then i have to draw like some tiny particles of line i have to remake it you can remake your own like you can make your own style just be unique stay different let your style be different from my style not want to use my style but the main important thing is for you to learn how to make these digital paintings once you are good with this you are 100 percent good and good for real so we are going to splat and make sure whenever you want to splat splat with the color beside that right you mean on the clothes splat with the color you can splat with color color just make sure you splat well and it rhyme really really well like now i'm using the lighter color that's too, you know, using the blue color, and that's too blue for the background. Don't just flat anyhow, and you know, splatting too is just like an arrangement. You need to arrange it well. Don't just flat anyhow and just do like, give it splat background. Just flat. no, splat. Then make sure you splat well. Make sure you arrange it well. Sometimes I use like up to 20 minutes for splatting. You just you know, to make it look too well. I will splat and I won't do. I will splat and won't do just to make it look nice so don't just plant any how can you see what i'm doing right i'm not going to forward it just for you to see the actual time that that's the actual time i finish this plotting so don't just plant any how see what i'm doing then and whenever you're splatting you have to make sure that you open this your brush preset you know option because that's turning wheel that is there you will need it all the time you keep turning your brush like you turn the brush according to where you want to design to make sure it looks nice something like that so don't just don't just splat any how you like make sure you splat well like what you have seen. so i'm going to save my work sorry that i'm saving my work it's normal for me i time photoshop cs's crash and it's just you know it can spoil the day work something like that so i'm going to continue to add my splatter design it's just normal by creating a new layer at the bottom so let's keep splatting i try to splat the baby face and it looks hot and weird so i'm not going to give the baby a the baby face is flat design so i'm going to make it on the woman t-boss face so can you see and gently and not much something like this so i'm going to proceed to the other side like you know the less flat so do you see how it's green cool and nice that's just how to splat you work with your brush wheel and then you continue to splat you know nicely something like that you see so there is nothing really really hard to do 
all what you just need to know is learn how to paint first that is very very important leave this plot alone first learn how to paint well first that is the main important thing so you see let's see this part so you see what i'm doing now you and this is just the last you know, episode for the episode of one to five then another video is going to come out next that's going to blow your mind so just you know please subscribe to my channel and expect more sweet video like you know glowing skin glowing eyes amazing different kind of thing you know so you can learn very very well just be creative that's just it so please like and comment on my video and please do subscribe okay thank you very much for really really supporting sewa graphics i hope you really really like my you know video if you really like my video and if you have been working on this please let me know like you know send your work to me on facebook for corrections and you know for you know, to tell you where to improve make sure you just let me you can see that i saved my work into the original one and my splatter design that is just it i have i always have my original one and my splatter design because some people don't buy the idea of that splatter so when they criticize that splatter when i am this is not i'm going to send them the original and they'll be like wow so this is cool this is fine so like i really know what i'm doing but that's just my style my splatter style that's that's make me different from other digital paintings so that's it so you can send me your work on facebook say wow graphics i don't know i you know reply immediately and if i've not been replying you please i'm very very sorry and please message me back i'm going to reply you back so you can hide your logo and this is sg say wow graphics my logo so add it on your work nobody's going to steal your work i always have to believe that when somebody take your work they can't paint just like you paint